trichologist, and I'm not sure if anyone has heard of a trichologist. Have anyone heard of a trichologist in the room? Scientific study of hair scalp and There we go. There we go. And with trike being hair, and I'll just be in the study of, I study and I am interested in anything related to how our scalp is performing and how it impacts hair growth. So I focus on anything that is related to hair, skin, and scalp. So when all of us have hair and hair loss issues, nine times out of 10, the first thing we'll consider is sending everyone to a dermatologist. So I just wanted to familiarize everybody about what a trichologist does. And the role that I fill in Atlantic City, New Jersey, because that's where my scalp clinic is, is I help all men, women, and children find the issues that's contributing to the scalp issues. So is everybody following me today? So what I wanted to just talk about briefly is, because I don't want to you know, overdo it, got a couple minutes, I just wanted to just kind of familiarize everybody with what it is that I do. But I want to just talk to everybody today about listening to the signals that your body gives you. Now I've been a hairstylist since 1988 and I have put on hair, taken off hair, and I have also contributed to people losing their hair. Because years ago we didn't know that braiding our hair too tight, weaving it too tight, leaving things in, it all just contributed to the downfall and the demise of black women and their hair. So as I studied study in trichology in 2011, I have been learning and I continue learning. So I just want to share some of this with you all today. Can I do that for a few minutes? All right, I wanted to uh, pose this example. Now imagine, has, have any of y'all, I know it's been plenty of people in here who've been cold. Has anyone ever been cold in their lifetime? Okay, so what happens when you get cold? If you're cold for too long, what does your body do? Start shivering, right? What will happen if you continue shivering? What's the next thing that'll start happening and let you know that you are cold? Hypothermia. Hypo meaning under, thermal meaning heat. You're underheated, so your body's shaking to let you know you need to heat yourself up. Put a blanket on, get next to somebody warm so you can get some heat. I want you to understand that concept. Your body's trying to tell you something. So I'm gonna relate this back to the example in just a few minutes. So what happens the longer you stay outside? Your fingers and your toes will start hurting. They'll start getting numb and they'll start aching because the blood is being drawn away from your limbs and your fingers and your toes. Everybody understand where I'm trying to get to? So they, your body's trying to tell you, please rub your hands together, get me warm. You gotta put your hands underneath your armpits and put it in your groin so you can be hot. Everybody know what I mean? So your body's trying to, your body's trying to let you know you have to heat me up because you're gonna lose those fingers in a minute. And to understand that concept, your body is trying to conserve all that energy, so it's gonna pull the blood away from your fingers and your toes, and you're gonna to start to lose those fingers and toes very shortly if you don't heat them up. So your body is sending you signals. It's trying to let you know, please take care of me. Please take care of me before you lose this limb. If you do not listen to your body, your fingers and your limbs will start to turn purple. They'll turn blue and you start suffering necrosis because the capillaries are not getting the oxygen that it needs because your blood is not getting to those fingertips and your toes. That's the same signals your hair is trying to tell you, but you have to listen. So when your body is going through hypothermia and you're about to go through frostbite and you lose those fingers and toes, your body tried to tell you, but you didn't listen. I'm relating that same example to trichology. So, as women and as men, we can do some beautiful things with our hair. But please, when you start to notice your edges are starting to thin, you don't have that useful look that you used to. You're looking like someone else in the family that you know. The top of your hair is starting to get thin. Please don't cover it up. Consult someone about it. Whether you go to a dermatologist, have your dermatologist do everything they possibly can to help you understand why you're in that position. If your scalp is sore, you have an excessive scalp scales, your scalp feels lumpy, it's painful, it's sore, listen to what your body's trying to tell you, your body's trying to say, please help me, fix me, find out what you need to do to help me with this issue. So please, I beg of you, find a trichologist or a hair loss practitioner or a dermatologist who's familiar with our issues, and have them tell you, how did I get in this situation? How can I get out of it? What can I do? Because that's what I do as a trichologist in Atlanta City, New Jersey. So 
I say all this to say the example I gave about hypothermia is when you start to see the signals and the signs, don't overlook it. Don't say, oh, this is too expensive. I don't want to take another pill because I hear all this all the time in my salon clinic. I don't want to wash my hair more frequently than I do now. I don't want to use no drops. I don't want to get this. I don't want to take this. The more you keep telling yourself that you don't want to do something, you kind of fighting against your own self. So that's what it is that we do as trichologists. We want to find out the contributors to why you are losing or having the scalp issue that you're having. So please consult the trichologist. If you have a hair loss practitioner in the area, go see them. Just talk to them. If they have a free consultation, just talk to them about your needs because that's what it is that I do. So for all the stylists in the room, now I want to talk to you because my question to the stylist is, can you help your client interpret the signals that they are sending you? When you see that, that salon client of yours, the top of their hair is starting to thin, what can you tell them? Oh girl, I don't know, I can cover it up for you. I can put this crown on top and I can put this, this bun and I can do these, these barrel twists for you, I can cover it up. No, your client doesn't want you to help them cover it up, they want you to help them fix it. So to the stylists in the room, I beg of you, please, 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 if you want to learn more about trichology, helping your clients with scalp issues and hair loss issues, I'm at the back table. I can tell you anything you want to know about being a hair loss practitioner or a trichologist. But my goal is to just come up here today just to talk to you about listening to the signals that your body gives you. If you don't know what it is that you're seeing, find someone, talk it out with them, let them know what you're experiencing, and they can help you because that's what I do. And as a the last part of what I want to share with you is, as a trichologist, we take all of the information about you, and when I tell you that everything helps me, because that's a part of you, that's the walk that you're living, if that's what you endure every day, I need to know about it. So when you go visit a trichologist, how we differ from a dermatologist is, we want to know what life you're living. Do you sit up under an air conditioner all day? Do you sit in a cold room? Are you on a bus? Do you sit near a heating vent? Uh, how do you breathe? How, do, how are you menstruating? How are you going to the bathroom? Who in your family had hair loss? We want to know, do you have dogs, pets? Do you have allergies? We want to know all that because all that helps us know the total sum of who you are because we want to get to know your life and your lifestyle so all of that helps us. So as a trichologist, we want to know what it is that you're eating. What do you put into your body? Because we want to help identify some of the contributors to why you are in the position you are in. So whenever anyone in the sound of my voice is dealing with any hair loss, please consider seeing a hair loss practitioner or a certified trichologist like myself. I am in the New Jersey area. I'm only an hour away from here. I'm an hour's stone's throw away from Philadelphia, two hours from New York. So y'all just call me, come see me anytime. If you follow anyone on Facebook, I'm at SBL Hair Loss. On Instagram, I'm Hair Loss Center NJ. To keep it simple, if you ever want to find me on the internet, I'm HairLawCenterNJ.com. Very simple. HairLawCenterNJ.com. If you want to reach me by email, info at HairLawCenterNJ.com. So I hope I was able to just help someone today. Please, everybody, listen to your body. When your body is trying to tell you something, if your hair is falling out, if you have hair loss in spots, if you have a section of hair, you're losing your hair, if you have dryness, flakiness, the texture of your hair has changed. Now it's dry, it used to be very supple. Your body is trying to tell you something, so I just tell everybody today, please listen to the signals that your body is giving you because there are people like myself that can help you with your walk and give you back that hair you used to have. So I hope this helps someone. Thank you so much, Miss Marion, for letting me talk today.